This is the second video in our small series on how to build a circular stairway up the side of a hill or sloping surface. And in this video, I will be providing you with some information on how you can figure out the size of the stair tread so that you can cut a pattern and then use that pattern to position all of the steps correctly to build a more accurate stairway. So what we're going to be doing doing is creating a upper and lower starting point and then creating some type of a framework something that will allow us to get a couple of measurements and of course that would be the vertical measurement for the rise along with a horizontal measurement that we will be able to use to figure out the inside arc so one way you could do it would be to drive a stake into the ground and then create some type of a mark that would represent the lower floor. For example, if I grabbed a level and leveled across and then made a mark on a stake that was driven into the ground that will eventually be used to provide us with a vertical measurement of the total rise of the stairway, along with a mark that we will be able to use to measure the distance between the front of the upper step and the front of the lower step. And if this isn't making any sense, I really don't know another way to explain it. And and even though we're working with something that I've already built, these marks might not need to be as accurate as you think they will, especially if the stairway doesn't need to die into that exact point at the top or at the bottom. And to get these measurements, you're going to need to make sure that all of these boards are vertically and horizontally level. And even though I have this board positioned here, I'm using this stake here to represent the front of the last step and the front of the bottom step. That doesn't mean we won't be able to move it and start from another point and make adjustments later while we're laying out our pattern. So if you have some type of a walkway or concrete patio that you're going to be coming off of, then it wouldn't be a bad idea to measure from this area even though you're not going to be using those points for the stairway. And again, that can all be adjusted later while you're laying out the circular steps. And this is what we're shooting for. We're going to shoot for some type of a measurement horizontally so that we can create a arc or part of a circle and I'm providing you with a few different views here so that you can get an idea of what I'm doing. And let's go ahead and put the rest of the circle in here to give you an idea of what we're going to be working with on the ground. And I'm going to put a link in the video description area to a video I created for figuring out arches where all you need is a straight line measurement. And that's the measurement you're going to have right here and a measurement here that you are going to have to create on your own so that you can figure out the inside arc or radius of the circle. So here we have a circle with a five foot diameter that we will be laying out on a flat surface. And that will look something like this. So what I did here was placed six sheets of four by eight plywood together and then created a center point so that I could draw my five foot inside radius along with what will eventually be the outside radius from the center point. Now I do need to point out that I do have a book on how to build circular stairs if you're looking for a little more information. And next up, we will need to draw a line. This is going to be the line that represents the horizontal measurement between the top of the front step and the bottom of the lower step. So if you remember, we had a horizontal 2x4 that we used to get this measurement here. And after that, you can simply draw a straight line from the center point to connect with this point and this point. And this line here will represent the lower step or the first riser and the last riser. Then we will need to measure the curved distance here. And that can usually be done by simply running your tape measure across here and curving it as needed to measure the length of this line. And if that doesn't make sense, I can always make a video on that. Let me know. 
And of course, you can always use a math formula to calculate this distance. And then we will divide that distance into the amount of steps we're going to have. And in our case, we're going to have eight steps here. Then we will draw the outside arc and of course, start it and stop it at these lines. Then we will extend these lines here to create our step. Now you don't need to do all of them because all you need is one of them for your template. However, it might be easier for you to visualize the stairway with the entire layout. And if that's the case, then go ahead and lay everything out. If not, then let's just go ahead and focus on one of the steps that we can cut out and use for our template. And in our next video, I will provide you with a little more information about changing the sizes of the steps in case they need to be smaller or larger, or in case you need to add or subtract a few of them. And I will put a link here or in the video description area to that video and the others in this series after they have been made.